Um, part of my story that's not in this story, because I have a million stories, and one of the biggest ones was I lost my joy. I was suicidal for a couple of decades. I'll get a little emotional about it. My family, when I was a baby, prayed that I would die. I was that sick. None of them expected me to live. And they all thought that it would be better if I didn't live. Unfortunately, they prayed to a God that didn't listen. Hmm. <laughs> and so I've been on a journey to find my joy. And many exquisite things that I've written over the years, doubting myself, I just threw away. And then I've even had electric convulsive therapy to try and shift the deep, deep depression that I had. I've had a million surgeries, operations, illnesses, car accidents, so many things. And it took me a long time, sometimes I'm a slow learner, it took me a long time to realise that the world was just kept nudging me. It kept nudging me to be who I am. Not to be trying to be somebody over here, not to go over here and be someone else. It's like, no, this is who you are. Here. Nowhere else. So the oceans of tears that I cried, normally my story to say I had deep, dark depression and some really suicidal, hard days would take me 45 minutes. And now I can capture it in a moment. And so my obsession is to understand myself and to understand the perfection of the people before me and to see the uniqueness of the glorious individuals that I've managed to connect even over Zoom like we're worlds apart and yet we can connect at our heart or as Brenda says, at the core of who we are. When we let down the defences, when we let down the guards of who we are and see the beauty and the perfection of what each person in this room brings, every single person here has a different perspective to what someone else has. Yes. And that's what you were born to share with the world. And it takes courage and vulnerability at time to actually speak things. And if you ask Sam, who is how many of us connected, I lost my voice. I would literally stand there. And I couldn't speak. And my lawyer became my voice. My bank manager became my voice. I lost my dignity. I've been on a massive journey. So all of us go on a journey. And the thing is, when we shift it to, it's actually in a crazy adventure. And I am a very simple country kid. And I get to travel the world and touch the hearts and souls of people who touch mine. And Bloom has given me that ability to connect with people that I connected with. And it's a gift that will just simply go on giving. So the fact that we can create spaces where we can come and open heart to heart, soul to soul, is just an extraordinary gift. So I thank you, I thank all of the authors, all of the beautiful people that I've met and all of those that I'm yet to meet. Thank you. Yeah.